Okay, so here's another video showing uh, uh, Paperize, how to use Paperize uh, component, game body and component creation tool, version 8.6.0, uh, newest version for today. So uh, we looked at how to create um, a component and add uh, layers containing text, and now we'll look at uh, adding images because that's something you probably want to do sometime. So. Uh, in order to do, use images, you have to upload them to your Google Drive, and you have to do that using Paperize. You can't just open Google Drive and drop a bunch of images here, because Paperize is only allowed to touch things in your Google Drive which you have uploaded through Google Drive or created, oh, cr uploaded through Paperize or created through Paperize, which is a good thing, by the way. Uh, so what you want to do is, for example, click this icon to add stuff to your Google Drive folder. Click, choose folder. If you want to add, add images, you could add them to the images folder, which actually means that you should go up one level. Click this folder, select. Uh, choose files. And for example, use these Dali -E created stuff. Oh my, this is. Um, so, um, this is uh, very long file names, which is a bad thing if you want to include them in your, let's actually, let's actually use one here. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm gonna uh, have renamed the rest of the files. So I'm uploading this one. Now that it was transferred, start uploading, go. All right, so now one image is added. Uh, let's add this as a background to the entire uh, card here. So I'm editing the template, adding a new layer, which is an image. Image selection. Let's call this background image. Background image. Image selection. You can have dynamic images, which is usually what you want, one image, uh, what unique images per card. But now I'm gonna use a static image for the, for the background for every card. Pick image, the example game, images, and this DALI image. Image alignment, let's use stretch. Like this, and let's have inset zero everywhere, so it goes right out to the edges, like this. Now this image is on top of everything else, which isn't really what you wanted, so let's rearrange these layers, put them in the back. You can see readability is kind of suffered by this, but that's not the point right now. We're just looking at how to, to work with uh, paperize. Okay, so this will be it for this video, I think. We have learned how to add images in a ba very basic way. You need to upload stuff through Paperize to your Google Drive. Uh, select the uh, folder which you want to upload to. You can create a layer for images. Images can be static, in, like now, or they could be flexible, uh, uh, dynamic, selected per in per card, which means we can control which image to use from the spreadsheet, which is kind of often what you want to do. You can also rearrange layers by clicking and dragging. All right, that's it. We'll see how to use dynamic images in the next video. See you there. Bye.